All right. So you're on the hunt for some insurance information. You're trying to figure out how it works. You're looking at term life insurance. You're looking at permanent life insurance. You're looking at critical illness. You're looking at all these things. If you're on this video, you're probably trying to figure out how insurance works. In this video, I am going to explain and show you how you can fact check not only what I say as an advisor, but what any other insurance advisor tells you so you know if he is lying to you or if he's telling the truth. What is up, guys? For those of you who do not know me, my name is Philip Setter. I'm the founder and CEO of Affinity Life, where we've helped hundreds of Canadians find the right life insurance coverage at the right price, all from the comfort of their own home. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'll put the link in the description below and you can check it out. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so here's the thing. Insurance advisors are trying to sell you a bunch of things. I mean, we have term life insurance, we have permanent life insurance, we have critical illness insurance, we have disability insurance, we have car insurance, we have auto insurance, not that life insurance sells and sell you that. But you know, I'm trying to make a point here. There's a lot of different insurance things out there. And it can be quite confusing to, you know, a see if you're getting the best price. Are they the best company? Or is it you know, a bad company? Is it the right product for you as well? I mean, if you have anyone pitch some type of idea, whether that's infinite banking, or whether it's, you know, some other type of strategy using insurance, whatever it is, I mean, there's a million things out there. It can be quite overwhelming to be like, is, I don't know. Is he telling the truth? I don't know. He seems like a nice guy. I mean, he wears a Lululemon hat and he's got a Lululemon shirt and he's got some pictures up on the wall and there's books behind him. So he must be telling the truth. So I'm going to tell you guys a couple different ways where you can just use this as a resource to figure out if somebody's telling the truth or if they're lying to you. OK, so let's get into it. So, I mean, the first way that's incredibly apparent is go and talk to other advisors like don't just talk to me and take my word for it. Go and look up a few other videos and see what those people are saying. Go talk to another advisor from another company. Talk to another advisor from this other company and start to weigh the pros and cons of all these options. And I know it can be daunting. You're like, I just want to get this one product that's taken care of and I just want to move on with my life. But I think it is a good idea. I mean, it is a big financial decision. This essentially, if you're looking at any type of insurance, is either A, going to protect you or B, going to protect your family. So this should be something that you spend a little bit of time researching and making sure you get right. Number two, the biggest thing that you need to look at is consider the source and look at what potential biases they may have. So this is really big. So first of all, consider the source. If you're looking at any type of insurance policy or product or plan or anything like that, look at who's giving the advice and ask them, how long have you been in the industry? What other designations do you have? What other schooling do you have? What other education do you have? What kind of clients have you worked with? If they've only been in the industry for like a year or two years, or three years, don't just blindly take their word for it. Obviously, you should be looking at other, and I'm not to say that you don't work with advisors that's been in there one to two years, but if you're starting to question what they're saying, maybe look for another advisor that's been in the industry for a good length of time. And if they're trying to propose to you some type of complicated strategy that maybe is a big premium, look at what other things they've done, look at what other clients they've worked with, and then also look if they have any educational components on it. Have they built any curriculums about this? Have they went to any curriculums? Have they taken any schooling on this, you really want to consider the source. Now, that's the first thing. The second thing is consider the bias of the individual. So if they have only one specific product that they're selling and they're saying that this is the best product, like here's an example right off the bat. Our life insurance policy, our life insurance product, pardon me, or, or website, pardon me, and platform only sells term life insurance. Now, that's not to say you can only get term life insurance from me. If you book a meeting for me, of course, we can look at a bunch of different products. However, on the website, we only sell term life insurance. So you should clearly see that as a bias that I have to talk about term life insurance like it's the best option. And when I make videos, you should take that into consideration when you're considering between term or permanent. And you should take that in consideration from every other advisor as well. If all they really like to sell is permanent life insurance, maybe they're trying to get you into a big policy because that's what they really only love to sell. So you need to consider the biases of the advisors that you're working with. All right, number three, which is my favorite one, and you guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna give you a secret resource. Go to write this down. Are you ready for it? Write this down. Write this down. And I'll put it somewhere in the description. I'll probably forget. My editor will probably forget. So just drop a comment if I didn't put it in or just write it down. It's not that long. Okay. Uh, www.win. So W-I-N quote Q-U-O-T-E dot net. Now, this is a website that you can go to and you can put in what you're looking for. And by the way, there's no advisors on this platform. Nobody's selling you anything. There's no biases. They don't care. This is essentially only a platform where you can look up prices all across Canada or the United. I don't know about the United States, actually. They might be a little bit differently, but definitely in Canada, you can go there and you can look up prices and you can say, OK, so term 20, $500,000, put in the information, click it. It'll give you every 
every company in Canada. So if you go to one company like Primerica, sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Primerica, and they're pitching you on a term life insurance product and you're like, my, that seems a little expensive. Go on the market and see what other companies cost. And you'll see that Primerica is like the most expensive. So <laughs> I'm so sorry, Primerica. Um, yeah, www.winquote.net. There's more than just term life insurance on there. There's permanent life insurance as well, but that gets a little bit more complicated because there's so many more variables uh, with permanent life insurance. It's hard to compare it apples to apples, but this is a really good resource for you to say like, am I getting the best price? Let me double check. Let's go to WinQuote and just make sure. Number four, and this is actually a really good one as well. There's uh, two Facebook pages that I'm a part of. One of them is called Life Insurance Canada. I think that's what it's called, Life Insurance Canada. And the other one is called Life Insurance Agents. So Life Insurance Canada is for Canadians and Life Insurance Agents is for the States. If you have some type of question or something that just is a little bit uneasy, something's not sitting with you right. Some advisor said something and it's like, I don't know, is that true? I don't know. Here's the thing. Those Facebook pages are full of hungry advisors that are going to pounce on you. However, one of the really good things about those groups is because there's so many people in those groups, you can't say anything false. If you say something that's like, yeah, this is how it's done and it's not true, every other advisor in there is going to jump down and be like, no, this is not how it works. Here's the reference. Here's how it actually works. Here's the contract. Here's everything. And this is why you're wrong. I mean, they love proving people wrong. And I'm like, not going to lie. Of course, I do as well. I mean, like we have huge, we all have huge egos. So I'm not going to lie about that. So if you have something that's very specific that you have a question about, like, I don't know, this isn't sitting right. Go on one of those Facebook pages. If you're in Canada, look up Life Insurance Canada. If you're in the States, Life Insurance Agents is the one in the States that I'm a part of. And just go and pose your question. Be like, hey, you know, I'm a client. I'm working with this advisor. Here's what he recommended to me. What are your thoughts on it? And you're going to start a massive conversation. And there's like no way, like if it's wrong, there's no way that they're going to be able to hide. Number five, which you can do is read the contract. And I know that sounds incredibly boring. I don't want to read the contract. <laughs> Here's the thing. You can learn a lot about how the policy works and what are the limitations of it and what are the exclusions of it from the contract. Because here's the thing. Okay, this is how it works. Insurance companies, like insurance carriers. And what I mean by that is like the people making the products, the companies making the products, like RBC Insurance or Equitable or Industrial Alliance or whatever it is. Okay, they're going to make the product and then they're going to get brokers such as myself and trying their best to explain how this product works and then we're going to go to you and we're going to try and retell exactly how we think they said it worked back to you. So luckily, I mean, there are some consistencies between products and so sometimes it is a little bit simple, but when it gets a little bit more complicated, that's when you should absolutely refer to the contract because here's the thing, we're basically, you know that game that you played where it was like somebody, what did they do? They like whispered in your ear or were they like tried to draw it on your back or they did the telephone thing, you know, and then it would like go around the circle. What's that game called? Some Someone, someone, someone comment below. Let me know what that game's called because I can't remember for the life of me. And I don't know what they do in it, but I think you know the one that I'm talking about where one person will say something and they'll relay it to the next person and then they'll relay it to the next person. And when it gets to the end, it's like, that's not what I said in the slightest. It's kind of the same thing with insurance because we have the people making the product and then there's like an MGA, another middleman, and then there's the broker and then the broker could have agents under them and the agents could have a big downline under them. And it's like, there could be like five or six people from the product to you making this decision. And so if you just want to go right to the source, say, hey, give me a copy of the contract. Let me read it over. And you can like pretty easily go to the contract and be like, hey, what are the exclusions? What are the limitations? What does it say about this? Go through the contract. I know it sounds incredibly boring, but if you do have questions, most of your answers will be solved, pardon me, by reading the contract, which leads me to my final one, which is number six. And that is be very worry, wary, where, very wary, very wary. Is that what I said? Be wary. Be wary. What am I trying to say? Be concerned. Be wary. I don't know. Be very concerned with any advisor that tries to sell some type of one size fits all plan. OK, and what do I mean by this? Here's the thing. If you watch Star Wars, you'll know what I'm about to say. Only the Sith 
deal in absolutes. If you don't know what that reference is, you had a terrible childhood. <laughs> if anyone's trying to give you a one size fits all answer, like this is the only way. For example, Primerica, buy term, invest the difference. That's a very good strategy. However, it's not applicable for high income earners or people with businesses. Whole life insurance is a great strategy for those people. The other side of it, infinite banking that says whole life insurance is for everyone. And no matter what your income is, you should get it and replace your expenses. Not all of them say this, but some of them do. Nope, that's totally wrong. So what am I trying to say? If you come across an advisor that has like, no, this is 100% the way, absolutely, be incredibly wary. Ah, what am I trying to say? Where is that the word wary? I don't know why it sounds so weird in my head. Be very concerned with what that person is telling you because only the Sith deal in absolutes and there's a time and place for everything and some things, pardon me, might be really good for one individual and some things might be really good for another individual. So with all that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you were able to gain some tips from it to better make financial decisions for yourself and your family. If you guys are enjoying this content, all I ask is you give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.